Welcome to another edition of the program of the Bible Wheel. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the end of the second uh, iconoclastic uh, movement. Uh, the first uh, the first iconoclastic movement ended with Irene, who was uh, co-regent to Constantine the Sixth, her son. And what happened was that uh, <clears throat> Irene, she gave the, re uh, the right to reign to her son. But what happened was he, being incapable of, uh, of managing the empire, returned the reign to her, uh, his mother. And some kind of... Uh, schism happened some kind of a uh, disagreement ha happened between them and she had him she had him jailed i believe she also had him uh, blinded and uh, he died early and there was a 17 day uh, of uh, blackness if i'm not mistaken and the second movement was started by Leo V, the Armenian, and was taken over by his colleague Michael the Second, the Amorian from Phrygia, and um, his son uh, Theoph Theophilus, and. Um, his wife was Theodora, and Theodora uh, was the mother of Michael the Third. And we're gonna see an image of her. And this is a 18th century uh, art of Theodora, with uh, with the icon in her hand. And let me read the following to you, uh, what I'd written concerning her. Uh, Theodora, the wife of Theophilus, ends the second iconoclastic movement, whereas Irene of Athens, the wife of Leo IV, the Khazar, ended the first iconoclastic movement a century earlier. Theodora, the wife of Theophilus, ends the second movement. Just as Empress Irene was regent of her son Constantine the Sixth, Theodora was regent of her son Michael the Third. And when uh, Theophilus was uh, single, as he was emperor, he was uh, he held a banquet. I guess his uh, his mother held a banquet for him as he was 16 years old and uh, there were um, a few candidates and uh, perhaps the mother chose for him and it turned out to be uh, Theodora of uh, Paphlagonia if I'm not mistaken and here's a drawing on the on that special event and uh, he happens to choose uh, Theodora not knowing what her uh, moral convictions are. But uh, he happened to find out that uh, she was hiding icons, uh, venerating icons. But eventually, uh, when she took control, she ended the uh, iconoclasmic uh, movement and she had a son, um, Michael the Third, and Michael the Third was nicknamed as uh, the drunkard. Perhaps it was something exaggerated by his uh, uh, co-emperor uh, Bas Basil the First. Although Basil the First had a humble beginning, but uh, when he saw that Michael is playing favoritism honoring someone else uh, before him. Uh, he was 
he was jealous. He had an evil spirit, I guess, in, set between Michael the Third and himself, and he had his men uh, assassinate him. Here's another uh, picture of Theodora, Empress Theodora, and uh, an icon holding an icon. Let me read this to you. Michael the third place favoritism. Just as Saul had an evil spirit towards David after the young women favored him more than his master, Michael the third who had offered Basil to Corain with him began to find favor in someone else. Thus in his jealousy Basil the first had him killed and ruled in his stead. His mother, Theodora, was the woman who ended the second period of iconoclasm. But, uh, Michael III was uh, someone who had uh, noticed Basil the First, uh, Basil the First's abilities after he had a match, a wrestling match with a Bulgarian jam champion wrestler. And uh, he, he liked him, and uh, he asked him to Corain with him. But then uh, he had met someone else by the name of Basilus Canus, and uh, he was filled with jealousy, and uh, his men, he ordered his men to uh, assassinate him, and Basilus Canus as well, and he uh, took his place. And here's a drawing of Basil the First coronation, and um, he was a wrestler. He was uh, of humble beginnings, and uh, Michael the Third liked him uh, as the champion of uh, the wrestling against the Bulgarians. And let me read this following to you. Uh, Basil the first defeats the Bulgarian champion. Basil the first is known for his humble beginnings, as was King Saul and David in the ninth book, First Samuel. David defeated Goliath, the champion, and was soon brought to Saul's court because of it. Actually, he was brought forth before it, uh, because he was a cunning player. But Saul made him a general out of it. Um, the same seems to have been done as Basil I was victorious in a match against the Bulgarian champion. He was soon after called to, to serve in the emperor's court, as the main enemies in David and Saul were the Philistines, and the Ammonites and Amalekites, the latter who allied themselves with the Philistines. The enemies of the Byzantines of this period were the Arabs and the Bulgarians, but they allied themselves with the Byzantines with their Orthodox Church. And uh, in reality, when you look into the um, Emperor uh, Michael III's time, the Bulgarians uh, were baptized, were first baptized by the Franks. But uh, this the Byzantines thought would be threatening, so they went uh, and rebaptized the the king Boris, and he was surnamed Michael because of it. And they uh, they uh, baptized them according to the Eastern Rite, the Eastern Orthodox uh, Rite, and. They didn't argue, they uh, went through it, and uh, they became allies at that point. And here's a drawing on depicting uh, Basil I's wrestling match with the Bulgarian wrestler. And this is Basil the First on horseback.
we'll be going through more detail in the next uh, study uh, but there was enmity uh, between Basil the first and Michael the third because of a mistress that was exchanged between them uh, Michael the third had a wife but uh, he had a Varangian uh, guard mistress and uh, the he gave Basil his mistress to be his wife and uh, she had a son uh, by the name of uh, Leo the Leo the sixth but allegedly uh, it was it was uh, Basil the first son but he suspected that it was actually Michael's son and there was a constant hatred between uh, Basil the first and Michael the third and Leo the sixth I hope that you enjoyed listening to the program we will be continuing our study particularly on the 9th century Byzantine emperors moving along to Basil the first the Macedonian and his hatred between Michael the third and his son Leo the sixth the wise and the end of the Amorian Phrygian dynasty as Michael the third is put to death if you like this study please subscribe click on the like button and share this with your friends I am open to hear your comments and remarks Check out my other videos in my channel and join me on the next program.